We love making pies for holidays, birthdays, and any other day in between, which is why I love making pie crust in bulk. For years, we've been making pie crust in bulk and freezing the dough so we can quickly throw together a pot pie, quiche, or a dessert pie on short notice. Making 20 pie crusts is just about as easy as making one, so if you're gonna get out the ingredients and make a mess, you may as well save your future self some time and hassle. Since Christmas time is a great time for pies, I wanted to include this time-saving tutorial in our Frugal Festivities series. Check out the other videos in this series of 25 Days of Christmas Cheer on a Budget for other great money-saving holiday ideas, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more frugal inspiration and financial motivation. You can get a printable version of the recipe over on sixfiguresunder.com. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Okay, let's head into the kitchen and see how to make pie crust in bulk. Our ingredients are pretty simple. You'll just need a five pound bag of flour, a three pound can of shortening, some sugar, some salt, some vinegar, some eggs, and water. Get out the biggest mixing bowl you've got. Seriously, this is a big recipe. First thing we're gonna do is put in the whole bag of five pounds of all-purpose flour. We're gonna reserve two cups out of that. We'll use that for when we roll out the dough. So just take out the two cups. And what's not pictured here is we're also gonna add the sugar and the salt to the flour. Mix that around. And then we're gonna add our shortening. One of the great things about this recipe is that there's not a lot of measuring. I hate measuring shortening because it makes the measuring cups gross and it's hard to get it all out. But there's only two recipes I ever make that use shortening and this is one of them. So just dump the whole container in there. If you have a pastry cutter, this is a great time to use it. I couldn't find mine when I was making this video so I just used a fork and that works too. So mix the shortening in with the flour till you've got a crumbly mixture. Be sure to scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl so that all of the flour mixture gets incorporated with the shortening. When the flour and shortening are combined evenly to make a nice crumbly mixture, you're ready to move on to the wet ingredients. To minimize dirty dishes, I always use my empty shortening container to mix the wet ingredients in. So we're gonna add two cups of water, four eggs, and four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Using a fork or a whisk, beat together all the wet ingredients until they're well combined. Okay, next we're gonna add the liquid mixture to our flour shortening mixture and use a fork to blend it until everything is moistened. Once again, you're gonna to wanna to scrape the sides and the bottom and make sure that everything is well incorporated. It's a big bowl and a lot of ingredients, so it takes a lot of mixing. You'll get to the point where the fork is pretty ineffective and you'll have to get your hands dirty. Just keep blending until you can fold the dough into a ball. Once you've formed your dough into a ball, cover it with plastic wrap and stick it in the refrigerator for at least 15 minutes. When you get your dough out of the refrigerator, it's time to divide it up into individual balls of dough. We're gonna use the two cups of flour that we reserved to flour our surface and flour our hands. You're probably not gonna need all the flour, but, so just use as much as you need. We're gonna divide our giant ball into quarters first, and then each of those quarters will divide into five equal parts. So we'll end up with about 20 pieces of dough. It doesn't matter if they're all exactly the same, just roughly, um, roughly even balls. You can use the smaller balls for the top crust and larger ones for the bottom crust. Just be careful not to overwork your dough. That's one of the secrets to a flaky pie crust. For storing them in the freezer, I usually wrap each ball in plastic wrap and place those balls into a freezer bag. In this case, I didn't wrap them in plastic wrap because I knew that I was gonna be using them right away. When you're ready to use the pie crust, just remove the dough balls you need from the freezer and allow them to thaw on the countertop or in the refrigerator. See how easy that was? Now go whip up some pie crust, start adding quiche and pot pie to your family's menu, and find lots of excuses for pie. 
If you want to improve your finances, you'll want to join me in January for our Frugal Fresh Start Challenge. Check out the video description for the link to sign up so I can send you the workbook for free. See you in the next video.